Hello. This study is on affordable accessible housing applied to Egypt. It is pre uh, done and presented by myself, Professor Dr. Safa Mahmoud Isa, and Professor of Architecture at the Faculty of Engineering, Menofea University in Egypt. Stop. Ancient Egypt history and status. Egypt is part of the cradle of civilization. It used writing, built cities, it had a class society, agriculture, animal husbandry, metallurgy, and monumental buildings. Today, Egypt faces many problems, among which the housing problem. It is caused by high rates of population growth, nearly 1.94%, the rural migration to cities, and the concentration of public funding in new expensive houses. What is affordable housing? Affordable housing refers to housing units that are affordable by that section of society whose income is below the median household income. Affordable housing should address the needs of the lower of middle income households. Affordable housing is an important issue for developing countries and that as the majority of the population is unable to buy houses at market prices. In 2019, uh, President uh, Mr. Abdel Fattah El Sisi, the Egyptian president, started his initiative of decent life for the inhabitants of Upper Egypt. He said, those are our people of the South. He urged all governorates and states associations to cooperate and participate in achieving this initiative in order to change people's lives for the better. Launched in 2019, the Decent Life Initiative, which is in Arabic called Haya Karima, is a far-reaching multi-year infrastructure investment plan designed to develop the country's rural areas. And it will run until 2023 a five-year program that aims to alleviate poverty in rural communities by changing infrastructure, improving access to basic services such as education, health care, and creating jobs. Poverty is most pronounced in rural areas. Almost half the people living in rural Upper Egypt were below the poverty line in fiscal year 2019-2020, compared to 29% nationally. But food subsidies led to a decline in Upper Egypt poverty rate from 52% the previous two years to 32.5%, according to the chairman of the Central Agency for Public Mobilization and Statistics. The initiative pilot phase started in fiscal year 2019-2020 and focused on development in some of the country's poorest communities. It included allocating 13.5 billion Egyptian pounds for developing 375 villages around the country. In almost three quarters of these villages, the poverty rate exceeds 70%. In December 2020, President El Sisi issued an order to expand the initiative to span over 4,500 Egyptian villages 
and 58 million persons or 56% of the population, according to the planning minister. The, in March 20, 2020, the World Bank announced additional financing of nearly 500 million dollars to support the efforts to improve the affordability of formal housing for low-income households in Egypt. It aimed to strengthen Egypt's social housing and mortgage finance fund to design policies and coordinate social housing programs. The program has benefited 57% of beneficiaries who happen to be married couples with young children. This is an example of projects of affordable housing that were financed by the World Bank. According to the Minister of Housing, Mr. As Asim El Ghazar, the program Decent Life Initiatives will enhance current housing programs to benefit Egyptians with low income. That while the Egyptian Minister of Interna International Cooperation, Mrs. Rania El Mashot, thinks that affordable housing is essential for contributing to national social economic development as well as for the achievement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, this is in the state of the governorate of Sohag in Upper Egypt. Uh, it was an intervention to uh, change the houses uh, there and turn them into decent houses. This also is in Sohag Governorate, Upper Egypt. Uh, it, to the left was the house before rehabilitation, to the right after they changed it into a better place to live. Health and education projects together will receive 11% of spending in this initiative. The health care budget aims to widen the provision of medical services to rural communities by establishing new health units and ensuring the supply of medical equipment. Health projects were allocated almost 9% of the budget that is 17.8 billion Egyptian pounds, which will be deployed to almost 1.1 thousand villages, benefiting 18.2 million persons. Education was given less than a quarter of this, with the ministry allocating 2%, that is 4.2 billion Egyptian pounds of the budget to upgrading schools. The initiative aims to build 13,000 classrooms overall, with 20% of the target achieved as of the end of 2021. This is one of the rehabilitated and renewed uh, health units in Sohag Governorate in Upper Egypt. also uh, put in mind educating persons with disabilities as part of the presidential initiative and uh, education that was given quarter of the budget they allocated 2% 4.2 billion to upgrade schools and 20% uh, of the target was achieved at the end of 2021. The initiative includes supporting persons with disabilities by training teachers to better educate them as well as organizing training programs to allow their entry 
entry into the workforce. This is one of the schools that was uh, uh, built for, uh, to improve the educational system in uh, villages of so Upper Egypt. And some of these projects are being implemented under, under a public-private partnership framework with private sector firms getting in on the initiative. In many cases, the initiative allows local contractors the chance to work on these projects in efforts to create jobs within the communities. The direct and indirect impacts of the initiative won't be known until 2023 as declared by government officials as the planning ministry media advisor, Mr. Mohammed El Aqbi, who told Enterprise that the government will give the responsible agents the needed support to begin studies until the program has been completed. Uh, as to the accessible housing, it refers to the construction or modification of houses to allow persons with disabilities to live independently. As affordable accessible housing should not have high construction cost or high running cost and its accessibility should allow persons with disabilities to live independently, the ground floor is the ideal choice for the members of this group, and that, as the provision of elevators, would lead to high construction and high running and maintenance cost. How can we achieve affordability in housing? We cannot depend only on the government and on donations, as well on the loans of the World Bank to provide low-income affordable housing units. This study suggested other sources of financing that should include a percentage of the revenue of football matches, a percentage of the revenue which is provided through adverts and through advertising on television, a percentage of the revenue of entertainment shows, programs, whether that is on stage or in cinemas. This study suggests that in addition to the former suggestions, we should establish a special committee that would be responsible for collecting the percentage of this revenue, supervising its spending on affordability projects, preventing corruption, and helping to achieve the program goals. We conclude that by providing accessible, affordable housing, we achieve justice and equal opportunities to all society's members and allow a better, healthier life and help in developing a more stable, coherent society. These are some of the references. And thank you very much for listening.